It's a beautiful day. We haven't seen sunshine. There's a Kid Rock and Cheryl Crow song. It talks about they haven't seen sunshine in three damn days. It's been like three damn weeks for us. So we're actually going out and checking out one of our properties. It's one of our next gen properties. It was a disaster before we got it. And I just want to show everyone living proof what $50,000 can do to a property. A lot of headache and a lot of changes. So I'll show you guys. Stay tuned. Check this one out. This property is just going to go over a total rehaul. You know, one of our one of our things that we really like to do is, is take these old junky properties and just turn them around, give them a facelift. Sometimes you just gotta give them a whole like whole body lift. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta take it down to the guts and uh, and redo it. But I look forward for you guys to see the before and afters on this one because it's just it's been a project. We've been working on it since December and we're you know almost close to March, but we've got probably a week and a half left and we'll be totally finished. Let me, let me know y'all's thoughts, because if y'all don't like it, I'm going to blame my wife. And if y'all do like it, then obviously I'm going to give myself some praise. Check it out. So we can go buy some real estate we're going to the auction today guys look i bought a lot a lot of real estate and i've never bought anything at auction so wish me luck hopefully we can buy this house today we're going to give it our shot and, and if not we're going to bid some else up so just went and got a check my accountant hates when i get checks he's like what the hell is this like every single time so i already went ahead and gave him a quick notice so we are in the clear guys listen if I can give anyone some advice, if they are a sporadic real estate investor that buys property and buys it all over the place, buys it in different companies, tell your accountant what you're doing and he will thank you at the end of the year. Also, your uh, your tax person, that'd be probably a pretty good idea to let them know as well. So, tip of the day, get a good CPA. Well, 0259 got a house. Not this house, but I got a house. My own personal house. That was a big waste of time. So what we just realized is people will overpay for anything. So um, guys, let me just go ahead and list your house. We'll throw an auction sign out in the front and people will overpay for it. So yeah. Yeah, so that was uh, first auction. It was really cool. It was crazy. So there's 50 people I think that showed up, maybe more. I mean, there was a guy that even flew in from Minnesota that came in and he was like you know you win some you lose some but it's okay he didn't get it we didn't get it no one but the winner got it so i could see some families that i think that were trying to move the, move there for themselves so hopefully they got themselves a good deal it got up to retail price really quick and i still think that somebody will save some but i you know I, i've got a feeling that 
if it was anywhere over you know 575,000 that property sold a couple years ago at 650 so there's there is a discount there but that property sat on the market for quite some time so it just it wasn't for us kudos to the people who got it we're gonna go turn our cashier's check back to the back to the uh, back to the bank so you don't pay retail if you gonna resell that's a new slogan <laughs>